Hi, this is Paul from globaltradingsoftware.com and this is a futures trading tutorial with Elliott Waves. So this is the think or swim version of the expert Elliott Wave indicator suite. So I'm going to go a little bit into depth a little later on, but right now this is just a quick uh, just recap really that with Elliott Wave we're looking for pullbacks against a trend and trading that high probability fifth wave move and this is what the indicator suite lo uh, looks for so when we're corrective and we're getting all these abc corrections we're not interested in those types of trades what we're interested in is um, a wave one a wave two and a big wave three a pull back against the main trend and then hitting our automated target zone for the fifth wave Again, that happens over and over again. We can see it here on a long here, pulls back wave four into our probability pullback zones, goes on and hits a fifth wave high. Uh, coming down here, wave three, wave four, pullback, fifth wave low. No trades during this period here. Then we get a nice big move down. We go, you know, this is six month period on the hourly time frame. Get a wave three, wave four, pullback into the automated probability uh, zones. 85% this green zone and then it comes down and, and just tips the automated fifth wave target zone there and then no trades again then all of a sudden wave four pullback goes and hits the fifth wave target zone then we get a short wave four pullback fifth wave target zone over and over again wave three wave four pullback fifth wave target zone twice okay then we get into here fourth wave takes a while but actually goes in and hits the fifth wave target zone it's about being patient though a lot of traders are not patient and this is really about patience so where are we right now with the s on the hourly this is where we are so the the Elliott wave indicator suite has identified that previous fifth wave then we've had a one a two and now we're on a wave three so if we're going to trade this on this hourly time frame, we have to be patient and wait. So this wave three will continue once it starts to pull back into the fourth, into this pullback zone here. That's when we start to take notice and look for a potential fifth wave short. At this moment in time, we've got on the on the false breakout stochastic. We've now got this yellow dots down at the bottom here, denoting a really strong bearish trend. On the wave four pullback, we have to ensure that we pull back into these probability pullback zones, but also the stochastic pulls back into the overbought zone against these false breakout dots. We just go back a little bit in time. Uh, we'll be able to see that uh, on other examples. So let's just go back a little bit in time here. So we see here the wave four pulls back. You go from over we've got the false breakout here it's not pretty but it's it's still uh, you know we've still got a bullish trend it pulls back against the bullish trend and we pull back against these false breakout dots here into that oversold zone and then we go for it again on that fifth wave move so again it's about having those tools to measure the performance of this wave four pullback so it's the probability pullback zones green is 85 percent it's going to go on and hit that fifth wave target zone which it did 80 percent in the amber red is 75 percent if it breaks the red we don't take the trade this is just one strategy it's a with trend strategy you wait for a pullback we measure the pullback of that wave four if all the criteria is correct and we include that in our training boot camp then we trade that fifth wave uh that fifth wave trade if we break the rules we don't trade it again we pull back it goes forward we pull back it comes back down again it is continuous this cycle uh, that we call Elliott Wave but you don't need to really understand the theory what you need to understand are the rules at this moment in time ES is coming down we just wait if we're going to trade this on a smaller time frame we can use one of the other expert uh, indicators to trade those shorts but right now Going to trade Elliott Wave. We're going to wait for this wave three to stop. I'm going to let it pull back on a wave four. If all the criteria are met, all the rules are made, we look for the entry and we go short on that fifth wave move. So right now there's no trade, but we need to keep an eye on this because these can be 
very big moves on the hourly time frame. So hopefully that helps. Elite Wave Indicator Suite, check out the links below uh, for the Think or Swim version of the Elite Wave Indicators. It's not just for swing trading stocks, for example. This is the hourly time frame on ES, and I've just gone back six months and they were all winners. It's about understanding the behavior of a particular instrument, letting that pullback happen, measuring that pullback behavior with our tools, the oscillator, the false breakout stochastic, the pullback zones, having that fifth wave uh, automated target zone in view and uh, being able to trade those with trend uh, traits. Sup, sup, sup.